good morning to all of you. Uh, today we have with us uh, Professor Sudhir Kumar sir and uh, Dr. Shailesh Pai with us. So today we have uh, chosen a very important topic uh, pertaining to trauma in orthopedics. So as you all know, uh, when a fracture happens, it is not only the bone that uh, gets injured, it is also the soft tissues that get injured. So when you uh, treat your patient who has undergone a trauma or sustained a trauma, you have to uh, keep in mind that the soft tissues also play a very important role in the final management. So you can have a closed fracture or an open fracture, the handling of uh, both of which is quite different. So you should be knowing how exactly you will be managing these cases. So we have the app people with us to discuss about the same. I welcome uh, both of you on board today. Uh, good morning, sir. So let us start with uh, today's session. So Shaila Spicer, over to you. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Nopal. So we are discussing about uh, the soft tissue injuries and also the open fractures, which is very apt because many times we as surgeons tend to overlook the extent of the injuries that have happened due to the trauma. We have a look at the radiograph, but we forget to look what exactly the condition of the soft tissue is. And we know for sure that the final functional outcome of the patient is very much dependent on the soft tissue condition because it not only helps in healing the fracture, but an open fracture can get infected leading to a downstairs uh, bad outcome. So the way we tackle this is extremely important. And with the experience of uh, Professor Sudhir Kumar sir that we have, uh, it's very important that we learn how to deal with this uh, all the way from uh, the initial management as well as until the bone moves on to heal. So sir, uh, this is a legendary statement uh, by uh, Girdlestone that we need to understand that bone is a living tissue, it is a plant with its roots in soft tissue. And when the vascular connections are damaged, it requires the technique of a cabinet maker and understanding of a gardener. So briefly, we should not be a carpenter, but a gardener. How true is this statement even today, sir? It's absolutely age-old statement, but uh... It has a lot of science behind it. Uh, you see, when an impact of an injury is created onto any part of the body, it has to go through the soft tissues. You cannot have a direct impact on the bone. That means the it, energy, the quantum of energy which is which is sufficient enough to break a bone would definitely hurt the overlying envelope. And this envelope is made of, you know that, of a skin, subcutaneous tissue, deep tissues, and the musculotendinous area, the vascular structures, and the neural structures. So the impact is borne by e each one of the tissue. So I think uh, this, uh, this statement, which is being um, made by Goodelstern way long back, is, is absolutely true and holds good. So in short, I think, uh especially during our residency in our initial part of training, we need to take this statement deep into our brains that bone, unlike other tissues, is heals by bone itself. So, and it is a living structure. So the way we handle it, we should not cause any further trauma to what has already been caused because of the injury. Like Sir said, the amount of forces which reaches the bone is actually lesser than the forces reaching the soft tissues because a lot of forces are already dissipated in the soft tissues causing damage to it and then it reaches the bone breaking it. So we will not really understand the entire spectrum of injuries just by looking at the radiographs in front of us and we need a thorough assessment. So this uh, soft tissue, uh, once the initial impact happens, there is an injury. Once there is mobilization at the fracture site, there is again injury. 
and as a surgeon when we tend to operate a, th a third trauma is also being uh, impacted on that particular soft tissue so i think as a surgeon all of us should remember this particular aspect as well